When building no-code apps, Bubble is one of the best. I fall in love with this technology as soon as I had my hands on. The best part, we can build plugins which can be reused across application or published over Bubble Marketplace. Now here I am presenting you Tired plugin for Bubble. In this video, uh, we will see how we can use Tired plugin to build a quick video conferencing solution. So let's get started. As you can see, I am already on bubble.io website. I am already logged in. So let's go ahead and create a new app. For the sake of simplicity, let's give it a name as bubble.pluginDemo01. This is going to be a SaaS application and external facing. And the goal is to basically test out a business idea. So with this, let's create a new app. It may take a minute to create this application for us. Perfect. So this has created an application for us and new application assistant is launched. I'm going to start with the blank page. So I will click on it and I will close this assistant. Now the first thing that we want to do is go to plugins and add the diet plugin. So I'm going to search for it and you can see the plugin is listed over here. And this is a beta for testing purpose. So let me just install it and click on done. Now let's go to the design. And what we want to do is we want to have a button over here. What this button is going to do is it's going to allow us to create a meeting. So let me name it as create meeting button. The next thing that we want to do is when we create this meeting, we want to display it to the end user. For that reason, we will drag and drop a diet canvas. This diet canvas will be replaced when a me actual meeting will be created and this meeting lobby will be displayed over here. Now let's go to the workflows. And what we want to do is whenever we click on this button, we want to do something. So I am adding the click handler for that button that when we click on this button, we want to do something. What we want to do, we want to create a meeting. So let's add action by going to the plugin and say, create a new meeting. Now, when we want to create this meeting, couple of settings or couple of values we need to pass. So I have already copy pasted this. The first is uh, basically we have to pass on the org ID, which we can get from the bad developer portal. The second is the uh, base URL. The third is the API. Key. Now we also need to pass on the meeting title. So let's say this going, this is going to be a bubble dot IO plugin meeting. Now I can also enable a waiting room or I can just skip it. So let's keep this for a minute. The next part that once we create this meeting is basically we want to hide this create meeting button because we don't want to show that button when the meeting is going on, right? So I'm going to hide that button. The next step is again, we are going to create. Uh, so we just created a meeting, right? So we need to add a participant. So let's say add new participant. Now again, we need to pass on the org ID. We need to uh, pass on the base URL. We need to pass on the API key. The next is the participant ID. This participant ID will, needs to be a unique. So I will say bub 007, something that sort of 756. You can you know generate a unique number as well. And the name of this participant is going to be bubble user. Ideally, what you will do is you will ask a user for a name and you will pass that name over here. And there could be a role of host or a participant. So in this case, I am saying the user which is joining this meeting is going to be a participant, but you can also pass on as a host as well. So let's say this is going to be a participant alone. And then we need to pass on the meeting ID. The meeting ID is going to be the output of step one. So when we create this meeting, we get meeting ID, room name, meeting name, and all this, all this as the output of the action. 
So we will pass it as a parameter to add new participant. The next step is once we add a new participant, we want to add that participant and join that meeting. So let's say plugin and join a new meeting. So again, we need to pass on the org ID. We need to pass on the odd token. This odd token we will get from the step T three, which is uh, basically when we add a participant, we get the odd token. That odd token we will pass it over here. Then the room name will be the output of the action one, the or the step one, and again meeting ID will be the output of step one or action one, which is create meeting. So we have this all these uh, you know unique values already provided. Now we are able to create a meeting if I start this application right away. But what we also want to do is when we pass on this, uh, when we create this meeting, when we join this meeting, we want people to come to our meeting as well so that we can pass on the URL and they can join. So in that case, what we are going to do is whenever the page is loaded, that means I gave a URL of this meeting to somebody and that person hits that URL and this page is loaded. What we want to do is we want to join this existing meeting. So in that case, we need to pass on the org ID. We need to pass on the uh, base URL. We need to pass on the API key. The meeting ID we will be getting from the page URL itself. The parameter name will be meeting underscore ID. And the room name again, we will be getting from the page URL itself, which is going to be just a meeting. And let's do this only when the page is loaded fully. So that's pretty much we wanted to see. Now let's see how actually this application looks like. And for that reason, I will click on preview. So it's going to launch the application and it is in the debug mode at this moment. So we are here in this debug debug mode application. Let me just say create meeting. And what it's going to do is it's going to create this meeting for us. So you can see that we have joined this meeting as a bubble user. Let me copy this URL. And let's assume that I passed it on to one of my colleagues and colleague clicked on it and the colleague is in the meeting as well. So you can see we have two bubble users. Let me pause this. So this is how simple it is to use bubble.io and the Dart plugin to create a video conferencing application. That's pretty much I wanted to show you. Let us know how you feel about this if you have any feedback so that we can improve on this. Thank you. Thank you.